guys, welcome to my channel. You already know it's your girl Betty You already know what the fuck is going on. And it's your girl tonight, so sweet. Period. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. Yes, at So Sweet TV. And also go follow my Instagram at tonight, so sweet. And that's what's all. Period. Period. <laughs> okay. So we got some issues through here. What we got it from? Um, don't give me the lie. I'm just gonna put it somewhere down here. Let's see what we got from. Because I don't remember. I know it's on DoorDash. No. Yep, DoorDash. Y'all ain't giving me the promotion. So, thank you. But, um, <laughs> yes, we got some Haitian food. Yeah, got some Rio. I got some Rio. Well, I started tasting it already, y'all. Some rice. Some... And I got white rice and green. Some green. 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 I already know. <laughs> Okay, so we just basically um got questions right here that we found on Google and we just gonna answer them because they can like you know good interesting questions and they're not too much and they're not too you know wow. So, go ahead. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Food about to eat this name, amen. Amen, honey, yes. Okay. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> girl, I can't let this food hurt my body, girl. Mm -hmm, yes. Period. Because I seen that video of that Jamaican food with the oxtails that had like the little. The bug. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. That's right. Put it over your food before you eat it. That's so greasy. Is it so far? No, like somewhere like you would never go. Like you would last place, the last place you would go. I would like, never go to a racist area. Mm, yeah, because I love my life. Period. That'd be the last place you would go. That's true. Um, I would say the last place I would ever go is. Someone racist, like she said. Right? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go. Be the target or something. Yeah, that's true. So that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Next question. Um, but what these questions consist of? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> what is the most unusual fear you have? Um. I get tongue yeah. twisted and I'm like nervous and I forget what the heck I was about to say. Yeah, I get it. I was like, I know I was practicing, practicing, practicing. But I get in front of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adore now. Um, I would say the most unusual fear I have is the most unusual fear I have. people just so much stuff going on anything can happen at the wrong time and you know different stuff i just don't like you know just because a lot of people right now i love it yes and i see too i see too much about it okay <laughs> what is your favorite tv show oh my favorite tv show was bad girls club <laughs> and but, then they took it off they took it off yeah. i don't even know what's going on on tv <laughs> but i think i like watching cooking shows <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I watch YouTube all day, every day. Yeah. 
Um, I would say my favorite show right now is Jenny and Georgia mm. on Netflix. That is a good show. Y'all gotta watch it. That's a really good show. Jenny and Georgia is a very good show. For right now, that would be my first show. But like before that, before I started watching that, I would say it would be Star. Yeah. You ever seen the movie? I like the show Star. Mm -mm. I like Star. Star was a good show. That was my favorite show. I don't watch TV. <laughs> Yeah, I don't watch TV like that unless I'm really interested in a show or something. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Am I eating too? <clears throat> what do you wish people would stop asking you? Am I really 26 years old? <laughs> <laughs> I get the most. Mm -hmm. Is that or people tell me I look like my mom, even though it's not asking. But people tell me I look like my mom. Well, I know I look like her, but I get it a lot. Like, yeah, I look like her, but I get it so much. Like I know. <laughs> I heard it growing up so much, but yeah, she knows her mom. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the biggest lesson life has taught you? Trust scammers. <laughs> period. Yes, period. The biggest lesson life is never fold. Period. Never <laughs> fold. Never. Wait. <laughs> period. Okay. Um, the biggest lesson life has taught me is to stay myself in my, my own business. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the biggest lesson mm -hmm. life has taught me. It's just stay to myself. Mind my business and get to the bag. Don't depend on nobody. Period. Just do what you gotta do for yourself. Focus on you. Worry about you. Yeah. Yeah. We got to swallow. Mm -hmm. um. Ooh. Mm. No, you be eating so much. <laughs> you don't swallow them. What's the worst and the best thing about being a female? Mm. Like to get away with lies because females run the world. <laughs> yeah. We just need the dudes for protection sometimes, you know, be some hearing it. But you know, we don't want to leave in the trash. Period. And I told y'all already. <laughs> but what was the second part? What's the worst and the best thing about being a female? Go mm ahead, -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So much competition out here. Yeah. Then, <laughs> on top of that, the woman empowerment. You is around people, and you don't even know this person's in the low key trying to set you up. So that's what goes back into what Naya said. Yes. Mind your business. No, stay on yourself. Yep. Don't let nobody get too close to you. We always doing a motivational speech. Always. <laughs> Church. Right. Church, you have two ears. The worst and the best thing about being a female. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the worst thing about being a female is, I would say, the worst thing about being a female is, oh my God, cycles. Oh. <laughs> Well, at least we get to clean our system out. Yes, at least we get, that's the best thing about it, though. We get to clean our system out. You know, it cleans us, but, oh, my God, that's so crazy. I wasn't. Okay, them cramps is no joke. I wasn't did it when I first got out. I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm losing my blood. <laughs> I would say that's the worst thing. But it's also good for you because that's what makes you have children. Mm-hmm. And stuff, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Next question. Hmm. 
what period in history had the best fashion? Wow. No, no. No. I don't know neither, because back in the days, they used to dress a little, you know, different from us nowadays. I'm not going to say ugly or nothing, but they dress different. Mm. You know. Yeah, so I don't know. Don't I don't know. know. Okay. How quickly do you jump to conclusions about people? Oh, I jump to conclusions fast. Um, it all depends on the situation or like what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it about, or who the person is, or like you know, it all depends. That's what I would say. Um, I jump to conclusion when I hear the person out after putting two two together. And then I come to my conclusion <laughs> because nine times out of ten, I don't think you think that you think it through before you know what you're talking to with like some somebody <laughs> else. And now you're feeling crazy. You should just kept your mouth closed. Or now somebody got to teach you like you're a judge, and I got just a conclusion to tell you what's wrong here. But yes, I listened to the whole story. And um, yeah, she said what she said. Yeah, fucking fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, fuck my head too. Okay, okay, you just touched that. Um, What fact are you really surprised that more people don't know about? Oh, wait, what? I was focused on the macaroni cheese. What fact are you really surprised that more people don't know about? Mm. Something that people don't really know about, but you're interested in, or like a fact or something. I was lost there. <laughs> okay. I'm a little lost there. Man, processing in my brain. Maybe if y'all can help me, I'll comment down below. Okay, what's the best comeback you've ever heard? What type of comeback? Like somebody was talking drunk to somebody, and somebody came back and said something funny, or said something, you know, something. I would say somebody when somebody said you need some sense and then somebody said no I need dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I heard that before. <laughs> somebody said you need some damn sense. He said no I need dollars. <laughs> that was funny. Somebody was like you need to sit your ass she ass down. <laughs> it was like well come dust me out. <laughs> I said what? <laughs>
what is your very first memory? My very first memory. Mm-hmm. When my mom came to the crib with them black bags, I was like, why you got so much money in them? Let me stop. <laughs> Yeah, we just all in the boomers all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, my very first memory is when, um, let's see, my very first memory, <laughs> I would say, when I tell my mom them younger, mm-hmm. when I tell my sisters and brothers when we was younger, you know, good times as well. Yeah, that's what we do a lot. Yeah. Um, let's see. What are you most grateful for? My parents. Yes. Yep. I'm grateful for God and my family. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, definitely. Thankful and grateful for having Jesus Christ in yes. our life. Yeah. We on the third, at the third. I ain't got time for that. God right. bless the ones that I ain't got Jesus in your life. <laughs> I really hope you meet him because he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Your he's coming. days gonna come in real short. I ain't putting fire out there. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> just get right with the Lord, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, next question. Mm. What weird smell do you really enjoy? I would say gas at the gas station. Oh, no, no, that's going to be crazy. I like the way that smells. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say the nail shop smells. Yeah, nail shop smells good. Mm-hmm. Maybe no, okay, and so the palace of getting slated first. Mm-hmm. Something toast. What snack can you just not get enough of? Mm. Mm. Hot cheese cheddar popcorn. Boy. <laughs> That's my favorite though. Mine is hot Cheeto puffs. I love hot Cheeto puffs. I have a two mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting full. Mm-hmm. What's the best piece of advice someone has given you? Stay true to yourself and keep going. Mm-hmm. And, yep, that's what they said. <laughs> the best advice someone has given me is this world don't owe you S. Do what you have to do for yourself. That's what my mom told me growing up. Yeah. And she also Ooh. told me never forget where you came from. Oh my god, I didn't even realize you were like, <laughs> about to die. Okay, I'm gonna take it over my soul for that answer. that used to be common but now it's pretty rare i would say those gold um braces that us girls used to wear i was just about to wear my bangles yes oh my god that's so rare we used to always wear them growing up now people don't wear them chinese slippers yes yep they try to to bring them back in style with little chinese outfits i don't know why okay in my book the neck did look ripped it apart, but you know, <laughs> it was about that time. It was about that time. Okay, what do you really wish you knew when you were younger? 
Sweet TV for my YouTube. And um, yeah. And we out.